Well, well, well. So how is everybody out there in uh, Ben Davis League land? This is your uh, back-to-back champ. You may remember me. Uh, at one time or another, most of you took a serious arse kicking from me. No pun intended. Uh, but it's about that time to rip out the 2010 season. Should be great. Small league. Uh, point structure's a little funky. That's a Gary thing. You're going to have to take that up with the commish. But, uh, yeah, I figured uh, as, as the back-to-back, back, don't know if I mentioned that, back-to-back, back, making up a gang sign today, probably. Um, for all the back-to-back -back winners out there. Oh, there's only me. Oh, that's right. Okay, so anyway. Uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of people in the league uh, this year. We have, uh, you know, Brad, who's um, a little slothful in getting his setup ready. And uh, it's understandable. He's got a lot going on with the, the wedding, planning and everything. So that's okay. Just another doormat. Um, you have Gary, who gave it a heck of a try last year. Heck of a try. And, uh, you know, we're all proud of him, kind of like we're, we're proud of, uh, you know, our slow cousin. So, that's cool. Uh, new joinee this year, Leah, my beautiful wife. Uh, she played against me in the finals in her family league last year and, of course, became my doormat. Uh, so, there's that. We have Sean, always a strong performer, um, always a bridesmaid, of course. John... Uh, tends to use his uh, his personal injuries as sort of a, a fantasy injury. Um, I don't know if it's trying to lower expectations. I don't know how all that works. Uh, you know, we might need to look into some uh, some better medical care for him. I don't know how that's going to work. Joe, uh, you know, Joe's Joe. Joe, you got to do something, man. Uh, nobody's really taking you seriously right now, okay? So we need to, uh, we need to figure that out. Now, Dave, I don't know, really know you very well. Um, so, why don't you make the playoffs this year, and uh, and then we'll talk, maybe come introduce yourself, and, uh, and that sort of thing. 99 miles, 100 miles. Woo! Whew. You know, they say, to be the best, you got to beat the best. You're looking at him. See this? Crips. Bridgeport Division. Fantasy League. I'm serious, man. I'm in a gang. A gang of winners. All right? No place for losers. So, that means you gotta work hard, like I just did. See the sweat? That means you can't roll in Sunday at about noon just to find out that Plaxico Burris is not a guy, good guy to have in your lineup. Alright, you gotta do a, put a little effort in. So, a little bit. I'm looking for something. Come here, come here, come here. I wanna show you my trophy area here. I got a trophy room. Uh, I have a bunch of different things here. Um, as you can see, I have some, uh, I have the Trophy wife, right there. Um, unfortunately, going to have to deal her out a, a massive beating in fantasy in a couple leagues. Um, I've got my few different medals here. Uh, this one right here is, for the most times, whipping Gary fiendishly in the playoffs. Uh, this one here is for most kick-ass draft. Uh, this one here is just for being all around cool. This one I got from the Bridgestone Crips. Uh, and on and on and on. Uh, but the main thing I want you to see is this right here. Let's pan down. The 2009 League Championship t-shirt. Let's extract it from its, uh, its area here. Let's take a real good look at this because this is very, very important. Um, as you can see, when you're in a Fantasy Plus League, uh, such as Gary's League, you get the, and you win, uh, and you just make toast out of all the bread that's around you. Um, you have football, fantasy, sports, and on the back you have, uh, in case you, you're not spelling very well, I know it's Wayne Township, 2009 League Champion. I don't know if we got that word very well. Now, I asked if they had a back-to-back -back champion. They said, you know, it's just not that common um, for somebody to get back-to-back. -back. And I said, well, what about us, like, super fantasy gurus? And they said, well, not really. We'll just have to get you another shirt next year. And I was like, well, that'd be the three-peat. And it's coming, so make it ready. Fire up the sweatshop. Get those ten-year-olds working on the sewing machines. Let's get the three-peat up. So in conclusion, I'd like to say good luck to everyone in the Ben Davis Fantasy League this year. But in the end, it won't really matter. Because I don't always play fantasy. But when I do, I prefer.
for the three P. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>